In this video, we're going to be going over how to connect the Hydrolyte TM to WCOM in Windows 10. First way we're going to do it is over Bluetooth. So go ahead and open up your Bluetooth settings and you want to add a Bluetooth or other device. So click that and then the first option, Bluetooth. This is going to show up as unknown device and then eventually populate with its serial number. There it goes. And then the pin is going to be 1234, older models. 0000. zero, zero, zero. So we're connected, ready to go, and now we need to see what COM port that Bluetooth device is assigned to. So open up devices and printers, unspecified at the bottom, right click it, hit properties, and then go to hardware. We can see it's assigned to COM21. Now in WCOM, you want to open up your port um, for Bluetooth, it's 21. This is going to be different for different users. And now uh, I'm cycling through the formats in WCOM using the keyboard command control F. And once I get the system here, I'm going to increase the sound velocity by using control U and then decrease it using control D. And to save my settings, uh, I'm going to be using control S. And now we want to put it back to old sonar mic because that's the output format I need and hit control S again. So that first value with the decimal point is going to be your depth reading. My transducer is shooting into air, so it's reading a zero. And that second value with the decimal point is going to be your battery voltage. So now um, we're going to connect it over hardwire. So go ahead and open up device manager and then drop down ports. So this computer doesn't have a DB9 serial cable or serial port, so I'm going to use an adapter. And when I plug that in, it should get recognized and a COM port assigned to it. So that's COM14. Now I'm just plugging in the cables, making sure everything's hooked up and working correctly. And I'm going to open up WCOM and open up port 14. So that doesn't look the same, so let's check our settings. My baud rate needs to be at 4800, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, and flow control none. It's useful to open up uh, and see your raw data string in WCOM in case you might not be getting values from your transducer or your battery is too low to actually produce a ping. So this is one of the troubleshooting steps that I usually do first to make sure the unit is working properly. Another side note, that, that first digit, that 1, is an identifier, so you want to make sure that it's 1. 